So I'm going to talk today about this cavity mask option here and how much uh, potential it has for use in PBR Painter. And rather than talk about it, I'm going to demonstrate it. Uh, so I've got this object here, made this object here, which is, has plenty of edges and plenty of cavities just to demonstrate this uh, process. And so let's start by creating a new PBR workspace and then my base layer I'm going to just make it metallic and fairly shiny and then the first layer we'll just call this red actually let's do yellow paint whoops okay and then we'll fill it and then we'll put the color on and we'll just make it let's do a procedural so it's sort of a some slightly darker spots of yellow and some nice brighter spots and let's just mix it up a little bit. Let's turn the metallic and roughness off, or turn them on, should I say, so we're not seeing the metallic and roughness from below. And so what I want to do now is just, just, just want to create a simple edge mask for my object. And I'm going to use this option to create a cavity mask here in my actual mask. So let's close some things down so I don't need these open. So the first thing we do is create a new edge mask. I'm going to go image texture, a new mask shall I say, and then image texture new, we'll make it 2k and we'll call this edge cavity because we're going to combine both. Okay and then before we start I'm going to add the subdivision surface modifier and take it up to 2 and keep it simple. So nothing to, has apparently nothing is apparent uh, in as much as it sh hasn't changed. But if we put um, wire frame on and turn off optimal display, you'll see that I've essentially added all this geometry to my object. So when we use the cavity mask here, it works by vertices. So the more vertices you have, essentially you get a nice tighter um, result. So let's turn these off so we can actually see what we're oops, what we're doing. So I've got my layer, yellow paint layer, and I've just made a mask. It's completely black at the moment. So what I want to do is I want to fill it. And the way I do that, where are we? Where's my layer mask? I'm getting confused. I click on paint mask here and make sure white is selected and on the paint bucket fill tool just click once and there we go there we go We've got our mask it could be a bit tighter so I'm going to undo that go back to the subdivision modifier and just take this up to three and try again there we go it's a little bit nicer a bit cleaner so I just want the white I don't want the black so very simply I can squeeze out the blacks just to leave me the whites and we'll add a bit of noise to that to break it up so procedural noise okay let's put preview mask stack on mesh and I find if I create if I get these whites here to kind of match these whites here uh, then I can squeeze it with this mask stack color ramp afterwards so it's a matter of squeezing the whites pressing the blacks changing the scale something like that maybe a bit brighter you can see they're kind of merging now which is where I, what I want and then by squishing them it will just leave us with a, just, just the edge mask here but because it's black and white if I preview it now if I take the preview off should I say you're just going to see the bits of paint on the edges I want it reversed so coming back down to our mask stack color ramp I just flip those over and we've got a fairly decent 
edge wear you know just, just a bit of edge wear is what we're looking for I've got a bit going on here which I don't want so the next one I would do let's say for example I wanted a bit of rust in the cavities here so let's make another mask another layer should I say and call this rust okay let's fill it before I do anything else and we'll add a rust texture PBR texture okay before I fill it what I must do, you must do, is turn this cavity mask off. I'm just going to undo that. Uh, so, turn the cavity mask off, rust, and there's our rust layer. Otherwise, uh, I literally paint just in the cavities or fill it just in the cavities. So, uh, now I've got my rust, let's just change the texture mapping a little bit to make it a little bit tighter. That looks like pretty good rust to me. and now when we create a mask we just want that cavity mask to come in the cavities we use image texture locate our edge cavity preview selected mask selected mask on mesh and this time we want to do the opposite so we're going to squeeze it down so it's just the blacks we can see add a procedural to it previous mask stack on mesh again and this time we kind of want the opposite, we want the blacks to match up so we're just getting a little bit of rust just in those cavities and hopefully if I unclick this okay once again I need to swap these over I think on the whole that's done quite a good job and so let's just pop this constant bump up ever so slightly there we go so cavity mask here gives you the option to use it for cavity or edges uh, so that's not half bad is it thank you for listening take care and god bless